being from Texas and, and spending a lot of time on Sam Rayburn and Toledo Bend, um, you know, one of the big things in that region is, is a wacky worm. And, and I grew up fishing a lot of that and spent a lot of time, caught a lot of big fish on it. And, and uh, you know, recently it helped me win the FLW tour out on Lake Norman. And it was kind of a key bait for the final day, that, that fourth day when they got real finicky. And, and uh, in that particular tournament, you know, there's several different ways to rig that worm. Um, and one of the best ways, you know, a lot of times like out there at Norman, we had real clear water. Um, in that particular area, I used a real small four inch worm, uh, straight tail worm, and, uh, and on a spinning rod with eight pound line. And, and, this, and this is one of my favorite hooks here for, for that. And it's, it's a, called a Nogales hook. It's out of Japan. I, I don't even know if you can actually get it in the U.S. Um, I found some on eBay is actually where I bought these. It, this is a particular one's a two aught. Um, has a good little wire weed guard, but um, um, I, I like to take it and open it up just a hair, you know, bend it open a little bit lower and to open it, open that gap up. But this is a real good hook that I like to use for that wacky worm in, in that on a spinning run. One of the other deals, what I call more of a power wacky worm, and this is something um, that we do more so you see in East Texas. And uh, this is something that you use more of a, of a uh, heavier line. You know, I use 15 pound. Um, you know, fluorocarbon line or mono, it doesn't really seem to make a difference to me. I, I, either one's fine. Basically, this, this bait has a 15 pound line and a three aught straight shanked hook. This uh, round bend, three aught, this particular hook's a gamakatsu. And uh, the round bends really seems to be key on that bait. And, uh, and th this bait's something that you, you'll use more on in, in more stained water and maybe water that's not as clear. Now one of the little tricks with these with this wacky worm is it, that makes it a little bit different from the rest are basically this lead lead solder right here. This um, this plays a key role when you're when you're kind of using this more power power fishing wacky worm setup. And um, you know what I like to do is I basically use three scenarios: one with just a, just a straight hook with no lead on it, and then this and then preferably one with four wraps on it like we have here. And that's what I use about 90% of the time. And then I also use one with about eight wraps of lead. And that keeps, you know, for a little bit deeper applications. So there's three different ways I like to use these, these power wacky worms for three different situations. Now the one that I use with no wire at all and just a straight, no, no lead, is during the spawn. It seems like with a wacky worm, it was the same at Lake Norman when I won there. I, I, during practice, I, I tried to use some with a little weight on it they wouldn't bite it. I mean, you'd catch a few, but the better quality all came on just a straight weightless wacky worm right during the spawn. And that was right when they were up spawning, up on the banks. And um, during that period of time, I like no weight. But before and after the spawn, I prefer, I prefer you know, a little bit of lead to get it down there. It makes the, it makes the worm quiver a little bit more. It makes the tails kind of quiver when it falls, and it just seems to work a lot better. The wacky worm's just a real good bait for any time of year from, you know, from the spawn from early, early spring. I've even caught them in December down in, in East Texas on it, all the way till, till about early summertime. It works real good. And basically, it's real simple when you make a cast. You're just gonna throw it out there and watch your line. It's all about watching your line with this bait because that's, you know, it's, it's either gonna, your line's either gonna jump or it's just gonna start swimming off. And that's the main key. But let it sink down when it hits the bottom and it quits going out, one bump, maybe two, and then reel in and go again. And that's it. You just it's a continuous deal. All you're doing is letting it fall down, hit the bottom, bump it once, reel it in, make another cast. That's the deal. Once you get on them and you get in a little area, maybe there's a group of them, then you can sit there and, and, and work it back nice and slow. But until you get start getting those initial bites, throw it out there, bump it once, bump it twice, go. Keep going, keep going until you find them. And if, if you do that, I guarantee you it'll help you out.